good afternoon everyone it is now 2 19 in the afternoon on what is to be a i believe saturday yeah i think saturday up oh, this is my video blog number three um just got through shooting part of my phone project um lagos to cali you'll be seeing more about that on my facebook page and on the youtube page yeah so i had a lot of fun uh, a little, little bit of stress dealing with, you know, certain situations, but, you know, you work through them. Uh, I had a great call today from a good friend, Grandmaster Greg Laguerra, you know, talking about uh, Kajakimbo Nation Ohana, really good organization, uh, great people, um, essentially association of uh, martial artists of different systems coming together, you know, for something positive, which is something that you never really see nowadays especially dealing with politics and martial arts, just like in anything else. But, uh, you know, we're positive about it and uh, looking forward to a lot of the tournaments and other things that are going on in the future. So, what about life? Let's see, let's talk about life. Life, life is not like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. You know, life is a journey and you set the course on which you want to take to see what's at the end of that road and I think all the journeys that we have in life are designed for us to have struggles because with those struggles that kind of determines who we are as a person and how we view life and others and I'm a firm believer that you know you embrace the struggle you never try to fight against it or wish that the struggle wasn't there because for every day that you accomplish something or you you meet that struggle head on and win that's something that you can always take with you as experience and you can pass on to future generations I know that I've gone through a lot of trials and headaches and stumbling blocks but you know it's made me a better person and I still learn you know the only time that you stop learning is when you're dead but you still don't stop teaching people after that because they learned from what you've done in your life, how you've lived your life, and what you've been able to accomplish and overcome uh, so far as struggles and everything. So <clears throat> if you're feeling down, if you feel like, hey, life sucks, nothing's happening, well, that's your mindset. And understand, life was not designed for you to be happy. Contrary to what people will tell you and religious verses and everything else, life is what you make it. If you have a challenge that you're having a hard time facing, sit back, take a breath, and just say, face it. Figure it out. You know, if you can't figure it out, I'm pretty sure there are people that you know that can help you figure it out. But ultimately, it has to be your choice. Always be willing to learn. Never stop learning. Whether it be from someone that's older than you or someone that's younger than you. Never stop learning. Never think that you know everything in life because honestly you don't because if you did obviously you'd be a lot richer than you are now you lead a lot ha a lot happier life than you would now and there would be no poverty everybody would be rich and dogs and cats living together you know mass hysteria stuff like that so just remember life is a journey embrace the journey make the journey worthwhile and then tell your story don't keep that story to yourself because there may be something that you have gone through in your life that someone else is going through and your words of wisdom or how you handle the situation may help them. Because God knows that with the situations I've had in my life, a lot of people have helped me because they've either been in similar situations or they knew somebody was in a similar situation. So I had those courses of action to pull from and be able to learn from and be able to adapt to whatever my situation was. So, always keep that in mind. Always keep the faith to my Army brethren, my Marine Corps Ura brethren and sisterins. You know, this is going to be a trying couple of years with budget cutbacks, South Korea, Iran, you know. Your best support is your family. Keep family first. I don't care what the military says. Family comes first. Make sure your home is solid. Because if we do get that call or somebody, you know, rings 
rings the bat phone, you know we got to go whether you like it or not. So take care of your loved ones. Make sure that they are set. Make sure you're ready to fight the war if it comes. Because God knows if they call me, as the gods are my witness, I'm going to fuck some shit up. Because if I have to leave the United States to come to your country to solve your problem, well, I'm going to solve it for the only way that I know how. Anyway, well, that negativity said, if you want to see negativity, watch the news at night. I'm not going to be negative. So, yeah, it's a beautiful day today. The sun's out. Um, unfortunately, my hubby had to go to work on Amtrak. So, if you're on train 714 and you see him say, What's up? And then he'll probably look at you and go, Just look. Just, so, if he gives you that, just know he's going to do that. Um, didn't know what to do today after I got off, so I'm just going to go, probably go walk either Alameda or San Francisco. Uh, Ocean Beach area because when I shot from there last time it was so I missed the water I missed the beach so calming yeah so hit me up ask me any questions you want talk chat and uh, you know this will be a weekly thing where I come to you from the comfort of my own car because I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to myself. And I'm talking to myself, well, you know what that means, right? The conversation is going to get really interesting. So, yep. So, to my fams, I love you, all my family, all my Watsons, all my McFarlands, my McGriffs, my Clinsies. Shit, I got a whole lot of family. I can't even freaking remember half of you guys. And that is really, really bad. And that's my fault. You know, again, to my Army family, to my Marine Corps family, to my Vaughn family. I can't forget my Vaughn family. Jesse, Jay, Jude, Justin, and my little bitty new ones. My nephews and nieces. This is Clarissa and Francesca. All my aunts and aunt aunties, uncles cousins, friends. Hey, Nick. Yeah, I got your last message. Why didn't I give you a shout out? That's to, that's to my Nicky Boo. My Nicky Boo. Went through basic leader course, did really well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to take me out for a dinner and a movie. Cheap bastard. But I love you still. Mwah. You know, just driving around here. Lord. Well, shit, I'm past my seven-minute mark, so I'm going to let you fools go and uh, talk to you on my next one.